Okay guys, back on the old heads with a little experimentation. Yeah, I filled a huge amount of that bowl with a big chunk of clay. And what did we wind up finding out? Well, notice how wide this got. All right, that got really wide. And I aimed the divider a little bit more over to this side than it originally that little small divider was. The small divider was almost perfectly straight. I gave it a little more angle because that's the way I thought it wanted to go. And you can see we actually have some liquid splattering on the chamber here. And we have this fresh peak. Now the reason I'm not taking these off is because they're on top of uh, body filler and that'll just fall apart. So I'd rather just let it build up. I can take it off at a later time. Because dicom is relatively tough when you uh, try to sand roll, or roll it or anything. It winds up just melting a little bit and becoming sticky. It's not cool. But as far as liquid flow... completely different. I mean, notice, you know, this last one went this way. You can see it's a much narrower peak inside the first splatter, but that has definitely moved as, I, as I've as i changed this the shape of this and filled that bowl in quite a bit. Okay, so this is my first bowl filling experiment with these, and I think you'll be surprised. I mean, the roof is still really big and really curved. I just filled in those slow spots and I did use a lot of clay to do that. You can see the way I shaped them a little bit differently because I like the airspeed on one side better than the other. We'll find out if that was a success or not. Okay, that big wrinkle looks like I whacked it with the uh, pita when I was taking measurements. But other than that, you can see what it looks like from uh, a different perspective. I kind of like it. What I think I'm going to do next flow is I'm going to remove that and fill a lot of this curved roof. You can uh, give me some feedback on that in the comments, guys. Thanks. Okay, it's kind of interesting because I did shrink that bowl up quite a bit. And as expected, I did lose some flow. I mean, we've got negatives everywhere, but they're not that big a negative with a much smaller port. And part of the idea was to work on these air speeds, right? Well, those came up quite a bit. So that does work, okay? I mean, in reality, we went down like two, two, six. As you go up higher, you start to lose a little bit more, which is to be expected because you have less area and way more volume. Okay. Let's take a look at our pushrod pinch. Right? This is what we were. sure I'm looking at the right one because I goof stuff up. Yeah, that's it. Okay. We got a minus minus plus. It actually made the floor even more active, which if you're restricting the roof a little bit, that kind of makes sense, right? Okay. How do we do on the short side? That's what we had. Minus plus plus. Actually went up a little bit on that short side. Look how close they are. They're much better now, right? How do we do as far as... Roof speeds, those were closer, but they're dreadfully slow. So this, they're, they're more spread apart. 55 is a lot. Now, what I, what I wound up doing was... I put more clay on... The... Let me just double check. Hold on. Okay. I had to check because these ports are confusing because they're, you know, they both face different ways. So it's tough to keep the center of cylinder and cylinder wall straight in your head. 
I put more clay on this side. Okay? And I did that because over here, we're lower, right? 75. Well, I may have overdone it a little bit because it was an estimation. But that definitely worked. I mean, it's better. Much better. Now... <laughs> the owner the owner texts me he's like Charlie 500 cubic inch engine it's going to need a big port it is but I'd like to shrink it and get the efficiencies up a little bit more if I could you know Olds is a torque engine oh, oh and another thing we have to we're going to change all of our air speeds cuz he says he's going to use between a 700 and a 750 lift cam on street stuff I like that. I think that's awesome. But it will change all of our references from this point following. Okay? Which will be tough to compare things, you know, compare them because all of this has been measured at 0.6. But it will be interesting what happens next. What I think we're going to wind up doing is, uh, like I said, fill, fill that curved roof in quite a bit and. Uh, I think I'll take that out of that bowl. You know what I'll do? I'll do that on this. I'll do that on this video. I'll take that out and make a make a circle, and you guys can tell me how many cc's that is because you guys are way smarter at that than I am. Okay, I took a couple measurements. It averages out to about 1.3 inches that bowl. So somebody smart can figure out exactly how many cc's of clay that is. And I did lose a little bit because I couldn't get it all out. So I have to clean that up. And then I'm going to put a bunch on that. You know what I think I'll use? I think I'll use the same amount of clay. I'll just take that clay and reintroduce it to that curved part of the roof. Flatten it out. Because something that Darren Morgan said. Would you rather have a long curved runner or a runner with one turn and two long straight runs. He says he'd rather have two long straight runs and a turn. Which kind of goes against what, you know, you would think it really wants, but we'll try it. What's the worst that can happen? It's worse? That's what experimentation's all about, guys. Okay? I'm willing to bet we'll get some different, uh, different air speeds on the pinch, and I'm sure we'll have different air speeds on the uh, inside of the bowl. Okay, what was really interesting is that was our swirl curve. I was not happy with this swirl curve, really, because it's got a negative, it's crappy, and then it's got a hard negative in the opposite direction. Well, I changed that vein a little bit, and check it out. Although it's not perfect, at least it's consistent. It has consistent swirl through the whole thing. Through the whole lift, lift, lift range. I would personally like to see it a little bit lower here and then pop up around 500. But we're not done yet. So it'll be interesting to see, uh, to see what happens with that uh, as development continues. You know, I, gotta, I have to kind of bang these out. And, uh, you know, I'm slow. I'm like short bus slow. You know how it is. All right, guys. I'm trying to think if there's anything important that i got to bring you up to speed on. Cooked. Totally cooked. Thank God it's the weekend. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.